Hello and welcome back to the new video of Magic Lock. My name is Zubin and in this video we are going to see the installation of the commercial Magic Lock device. So basically commercial means the high pressure Magic Lock device. So in India we have this 19 kg and 42 kg of LPG cylinders used in hotels, restaurants and industries. So for that industrial and for that purpose we have a different kind of LPG gas safety device which is specially used for this high pressure cylinders and hence we call it a magic lock commercial gas safety device. So this is the one you can see the box yeah so this is the magic lock high pressure commercial gas safety device so I will be opening this box let's see what's inside. Yeah so here is the device. Yes, you can see over here the branding, the magic lock, commercial gas safety device. So as soon as you take out the device from the packaging, you can see there is an, a nut over here and there are female threads inside this part. See, there is female thread and there are the male threads. Okay, so basically this is your inlet from the regulator. See, uh, this is the regulator in uh, India. It's a unreduced pressure regulator and simply you can have this type of connection but before that there are some things to be noted I will be letting you further in this video so this is your inlet this is your outlet outlet means the pipe which goes in the stoves so this is your outlet here we can see uh, there is another knurling part over here so what's the purpose of this part so now I'm just showing you opening this thing see if you rotate this part uh, you can see there is a gap over here it's been getting opened okay and after that you can also close this thing see you can clearly see it's now been closed okay so I will be letting you later in this video what is the users of the, these things and see uh, this is also getting pressed see okay so first of all uh, before installing this thing uh, take a Teflon tap. Yeah, this is the Teflon tap. Okay. And we just have to install this on our regulator. So I'm installing this Teflon tap on the regulator. It's a very basic thing and prevents some minor leakages from here. And it's almost every time recommended that you use this Teflon tap before installing any of this gas or water appliances products yeah cleanly installed see so teflon tap has been installed take the magic lock device and just install it like this yeah. i'm just putting it in my hand but here is the uh yeah here is the uh, part which you can fix the tool and you can just tight the product okay so it will be get completely tight okay after this thing, after you install this on your regulator, this regulator goes directly on the cylinder. And what about this part? So there is a, a gas hose pipe which has a nut. So you just have to install the nut over here. You have to do the same thing. You have to install this Teflon tape over here and install the nut over here. And the same hose goes into your stove. After installing this thing, after installing every of the product, into your gas stove on the cylinder and magic lock device just put this regulator on your cylinder after that you just have to turn on the regulator once you turn on the regulator the gas supply from the cylinder comes over here and it will be stopped in this device for the very first time because you have to activate the gas okay but before when you activate the gas the stoves should be kept off if your stove has been on, you cannot activate the gas as many as time you will try. The gas will get disconnected and will stop the supply immediately. So at the very first time when you activate the gas, please turn off your burners. Okay. So after installing all these things, after turning on the knob, after installing this hose pipe which goes to your stoves and the burners and after everything is complete, you have to press this. See, like this and hold for a couple of seconds I guess uh, 10 to 15 seconds sometimes the time could be longer depends upon the pipeline 
how much the pipe is long if this pipe goes to your straw and is being long 500 200 meters you just have to hold it for a minute because gas needs to travel from this device to your pipe and from pipe to the straws so time needed to travel is completely variable it's completely different so you need to hold this for in normal cases just 5 to 10 seconds is okay after this gets released the gas will be released from here and it will be reached to your gas stoves okay now you have to start the gas stoves before that after you start the gas stove okay before that you have to open this thing 100% see i am opening is yeah 100% okay now you have to start the gas stove after you start the gas stove uh, for example uh, there are two burners in your stove i am just getting an example there are two burners in your stove okay so how to adjust the pressure basically this is a pressure adjustment wall over here you need to adjust the pressure so how to adjust the pressure according to the two burners so now your burners are starting you have ignited the burners and the flame is on your two burners have been started right now so how to adjust the two burners so slowly you have to close this wall see uh, the distance gets reduced slowly you have to close this wall okay you have to close only to a limit where your flames get decreased there will be a point while you are closing this there will be a point when your burners will get decreased the flame will get decreased you have to stop just stop over here and open it again a few threads this means now you adjusted the pressure only for two burners only for two burners if you have three burners you have to do the same procedure for three burners and if it's a single burner you have to do the position of the single burner so basically in simple language i must say this is a, a flow wall as we have a water taps in our homes how much we open this the more the gas how much i close this the less the gas okay once everything is activated you have to completely keep it aside and the system will be running throughout the cylinder throughout the days how much days your cylinder is working how much days it gets empty throughout the days it will be working you don't have to do anything only on leakage only after leakage or after you change your cylinder and you get the new cylinder you have to repeat the same procedure of releasing the gas after turning on this regulator knob in any of the case in the pipeline or in the stove uh, it gets uh, leakage or any of the thing this device will automatically shut the supply from here itself you can see every time when you change the cylinder you just have to turn off the regulator you just have to put on this uh, regulator install it on a new cylinder turn on the regulator keep your burners off any time activating this gas safety device you just have to keep in mind that keep your burners off or else this device won't get activated and you will say like it was been not thought in the tutorial as well so keep the burners off release the button okay it will come back to its original position okay you don't have to adjust it every time it's only first time when you are installing every time you don't need to adjust this only if you are adding any additional burners you have to adjust it or only at the time when you are decreasing any burner when you are when you are having three burners and you are using only two one burner is completely left off for forever only at that time you need to adjust the pressure or else you don't need to do anything this device will automatically cut off the gas supply as soon as there is a leakage so uh, in this video we watched how this commercial gas safety device works hope you liked it and soon i will be also uploading a live demonstration and installation of this video thank you for staying in touch